Welcome to Really Old Movies. I'm your host Harrison Scullin, and today I'll be discussing The Lady Eve from 1941, starring Henry Fonda and Barbara Stanwyck. Some essential movie details. Director Preston Sturges would wear very weird costumes, such as a brightly colored beret, so that he could stand out amongst the large crowd on the set of the film. Because of this, he was labeled as the worst dressed man in Hollywood for many, many years. Another detail, Henry Fonda stated that Barbara Stanwyck was his favorite leading lady. So not only did they star in this film together, they starred in two other films as well. All right, so now I'll get into my thoughts on the film itself. The plot, I gave it a three out of five. I liked it, but I wasn't a huge fan of how the film kind of changed pace once they got off of the boat. And also, how on earth did Henry Fonda's character not recognize Barbara Stanwyck's? Like, it was super obvious to me that she was the same character, right? Just because her hair was different, she was wearing a dress, I guess. But to me, it was really, really obvious. But then again, you know, in comic books, I guess people don't recognize Clark Kent. But at least in his disguise, he's wearing glasses. He acts differently. With Barbara Stanwyck's, it's just her hair is different. And she's acting a little different. She has a little bit of an accent. But she looks exactly the same. So to me, I thought that was a little silly that Henry Fonda didn't recognize her. Another thing, I also didn't like how quick the ending was where they just get on the boat and he's super angry at her and then the truth is revealed and they fall in love and then that's where it ends. It's like super quick wrapping it up. I wish more time would have been spent kind of her making her case and revealing to each other and then they fall in love, right? But they didn't really have that. Um, it, it just felt really rushed. I, I wasn't a fan of that. So overall... That's why I give the plot a 3 out of 5. Not a terrible plot, but uh, not the best plot either. Alright, in regards to the acting, I gave it a 5 out of 5. I think this is the highlight of the film. Especially Barbara Stanwyck. She was fantastic. I love how hilarious she is as both the socialite that she's pretending to be and then her actual character, the gambler. Um, not gambler, but like they steal money from gamblers. Um, yeah, I... I thought she was hilarious. Even if I didn't like how her disguise was pretty obvious, I still think she was hilarious. I really liked her. Okay, and then Henry Fonda, I thought he was really good. I believe I've only seen him in two films, including this one. So the other film I remember him in is in uh, Once Upon a Time in the West, and in that movie, he's scary, he's menacing, he's evil. And then in this movie, he's kind of, you know, mellow, kind of chalk, kind of awkward, a little more reserved. So it was interesting seeing the contrast between the two characters there. So to me, it really shows his range as an actor. He was a fantastic actor, and I look forward to seeing more of his films. All right. Now, in regards to directing, I gave that a three out of five. I thought Preston Sturges did pretty good here. Um, I don't I don't mind his direction, but I was still disappointed with the ending of the film. I, I think they could have done more with explaining it and all of that. Which they kind of did, but I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, I, I wish more time was spent there instead of in the the mansion and all that. I, I think I would have done the film a little bit differently. But now I'm thinking about it, the way I would have done it would have been more like uh, an affair to remember. Where most of the... Uh, but even that... Huh. I'm not sure. <laughs> it was okay. It wasn't terrible. I've seen much worse directing. This just seemed kind of your average. It didn't seem any anything spectacular. All right, in regards to cinematography and special effects, I thought it was good overall. And I love the set designs that they used for the mansion and for the boat. They seem very realistic. I was really impressed with them. But there aren't any crazy angles or anything like that that really stand out. This just feels like your kind of average run-of-the-mill uh, cinematography. Nothing crazy. Nothing that really stands out to me, but... The introduction of the film has like a, a little snake. And I thought that was fine. I, I just wasn't a fan of the music in that. And I'll get into that in a second. But it, it was just okay to me. All right. So speaking of the music, I gave that a three out of five. I just don't think it was utilized enough. And I thought the music at the beginning was a little odd. It was a little strange. I like the animation, but the music was a little weird. Um. So yeah, overall, that brings my letterbox score to a 3.6 out of 5, which I'll be rounding to a 4 out of 5. So this is a film I would recommend. 
But I don't think I would use this as an introduction to Barbara Stanwyck as much as I loved her in this movie. I think her role in Double Indemnity and in Christmas in Connecticut are much better introductions and then adding this one later on. So watch those two first and then come back to this one. Um, and then for Henry Fonda, um, like I said, I haven't seen too many of his movies. I don't know if this would be the first one I would introduce either. Um, maybe 12 Angry Men and then this. I'm not sure, but yeah. Overall, it was a good film. I, I didn't hate it. Nothing I really despised or anything like that. It was just kind of an average movie to me. Um, but it was a fun movie overall. Like, like I said, it was it was good. It was fine. All right, well, those are my thoughts on The Lady Eve from 1941. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Really Old Movies, where I discuss details about the week's particular film. New podcast episodes are released Saturdays at 8 p.m. Civic Standard Time on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Amazon Music. All right, thank you so much. This has been Really Old Movies. I'm your host, Harrison Scullin. Take care.